All right, in this tech video, I'm going to show you how to digitally organize your themed therapy materials. This is using a Google Drive. You can also do similar things with OneDrive or Dropbox. You just need a cloud-based service. But I found that Google Drive has been the best for me because I also digitally organize my themed units on Google Slides, which you definitely could do this on PowerPoint. Just one of the features that I really like about Google Slides is that I can share it with other colleagues or have someone make a forced copy. And it's just a lot easier than having to email it all the time to people. Um, I will say though, if you are linking paid materials that you bought on Teachers Pay Teachers or other websites and you have it's and they come in PDF form and then you're linking them on here and then sharing with the teacher or colleague, that's essentially stealing from the uh, author and it's a, you know, it's a violation. So you want to make sure that you buy additional licenses so that you can share it, it with other people if you would like. So that's just my little caveat here. So, all right. So when you're in Google Drive, one of the things that I like to do is I like to number my file folders because then it allows the most important files to be listed at the very top. So as you can see, I have digital speech folders, articulation and phonology materials, and it continues to go down until we have themed materials. And when you come here, this is, I use the same method where you can number them based on maybe the time of year that you are going to be using these themes or the way you want to see it, right? Um, I And one example you could also do is then pick seasons of the year, such as fall, spring, summer, and winter. And then when you click on there, you can drag some of the folders into the correct seasonal theme so you can find all the themes for a certain season in one spot. So actually, let's just go here. So to create a folder, you're going to click new. You're going to add folder. I'm going to put 10. And then we will do St. Patrick. All right, so now it's listed here. And if you right click, you can change the color to, you know, green, okay? So that is how you would add a folder, right? And then when you come into your folders, you are going, you can add subfolders, you know, you can even go into it going back to school, second, third grade, back to school, fourth, fifth grade, and put all your materials for back to school in those buckets. So it might look like that. Or you could do it by type, social pragmatics, grammar, listening comprehension, and it's all going to be here under back to school. Or you can just stuff, you know, you can stick it all in the back to school theme. You don't have to organize it too much. You, you know, getting getting too deep with the folders could get a little out of control. So just as long as you have a folder for back to school, I would say that's a pretty great start. And then I'm going to show you what you can do with a Google slide. So you can have this template here and you can link, you know, YouTube videos that you might use with the theme. So if you take a mouse to school, you now have the YouTube read aloud here. Um, if you know you wanna do a brain break during your push-in lesson, you have it linked here. So what I like to do, if I'm gonna do this digital route of lesson planning and you know putting links to things that I'm using, I do this as I plan the theme out. I do not go and try to do this you know, for <laughs> tons and tons of, themes because it will never get done. So what I've done is when I have to plan a themed lesson, I find the activities that I need and I use them and then I link them after that. And then that way next year I already have this foundation and whatever else I add works really well. And so another thing that you can do is you can link to your boom cards by, you have to be logged in, but I can link that. Um, I, you know, here's another boom card and here's a vocabulary game on bamboozle. So you just take the link, you copy it, 
you go up here to insert, you click link, and you paste it in and then apply. And there you go. That's it's there. You can add text boxes and write word lists that you may want to use. And another th thing that you can do is let's say that you have this fourth, fifth grade unit and you want to get the link for it. You want to make sure that anyone with the link can edit it. Oops. It can be the editor. So you're going to copy that. It's now copied. I know that I want to call this my, you know, older, older language activities. And now I'm going to click this box. This is the file folder box. When I click that box, whatever, when I click link, I will insert this link. And now this, this movable image is linked. So now when I click it, I have access to all the fourth and fifth back to school activities that I might want to use for therapy. And some of these things you're going to print out and you just don't want to have to go hunting for it right through your Google Drive. You can just have this up and go, yes, today I'm working with my fourth and fifth graders. Let's see what we have. Maybe you're going to use the Cami Chrome extension for some of these activities digitally. So you have the Google Slides from the folder ready to go. So they're all there, right? Okay. That is how you link a folder. And so as you can see, I linked the back to school second, third grade, and it's all right there. I can now access it for teletherapy. Um, here is a book cheat sheet from my theme therapy SLP membership. It is available where I can print it, upload it to Cami Chrome extension. It's just right there to reference. Okay. So that is how you organize by theme so that you have the websites and the PDFs that you need for different activities. And so here's another example of uploading, you know, linking a highlight kids game to use in therapy. So that is it for my tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you go to the blog post that is linked in the description, you can download this free themed therapy lesson plan template. I also have digital speech and language templates in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, which I will link as well. And so you can make your own materials for your caseload. And I hope this was helpful. All right. Always be the SLP that every kid wants to see. And remember to stay inspired. Bye, everybody.